Hey, what's up guys, Layton here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I started dropshipping as a broke teenager when I was in high school about six years ago. If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Layton and I've been dropshipping for six years. I started when I was in high school, I was broke. I went to college, got a little bit more broke and started drinking more, so that didn't help. Um, and then I graduated and now I do e-com full time. And throughout the entire time, I was always dropshipping. I was always making money um, to fuel my side hustle, which was dropshipping. So this isn't gonna be a video where I just, oh, put this product on the store and run ads. Like obviously that's the business model. Um, that's not how I started dropshipping as a broke teenager. Um, I'm gonna jump into my iPad and show you guys how I started to make money and my thought process behind working, making money and trying to get dropshipping to work. Um, and eventually did. And it's really all, all numbers game um, at the end of the day. But let's jump into my iPad and let me show you guys exactly what I did. Okay, so in 2016, I was 2016, 2017. Uh, it was like the end of 2016 and of 2017. I was very broke, so I had zero, zero money. And I was in high school. And I was actually working two jobs and that's not how I, I made my money to drop ship. Um, I wasn't making that much money. I was just, I was getting minimum wage and I would buy food and shit and I would look, I just wouldn't have enough money to confidently invest um, in, in drop shipping as many, and maybe a lot of you guys feel this way as well, that you just have a, have short term money and then you use it on ads or you buy a course and then you're out of money. So it turns out that you actually need cash flow. You need money to fuel your side hustle. And this goes for any business. And I feel like Mark Cuban talks about this a lot that you just need money to fuel your dreams, fuel your side hustle until that side hustle makes you more money than your current job. Then you can quit and go full time. Um, and that's exactly what I did. So from 2016 to 17, I was working a few jobs. I ended up quitting those and then I, I did this all the, and then I did this job rush. I'm gonna tell you guys that you guys can do right now that you can implement right now and, and actually start making money. So from 2016, late 17, or late 2016 to early 17, all the way up until what, like 20, 2022, I wanna say. Yeah, around 2022 is when I stopped doing this. What I was doing, and I was just washing cars, and here's my poor picture of a car. I cannot draw to save my life. Um, but I was just washing cars, and actually, instead of washing, it's actually a detail. That's the trick here anyone's into cars and you have nice cars you want to keep them clean you don't get them washed you get them detailed detailed equals more money than just a car wash at a gas station right you want you want to clean the inside and out of car um, you can charge upwards of a hundred dollars so i was charging upwards of a hundred dollars i was charging around 125 upwards to 150 if i was waxing it let's just say 125 easy now what you do now what you do from here is utilize apps like Nextdoor. If you guys don't have Nextdoor, it's actually a great platform. Um, it, I wouldn't call it a social media app. Well, maybe, but it's for your community. So you, you go on Nextdoor, you enter in your address, and then you're, you're inside the Nextdoor of your community, whatever your address is, and you can post and all your neighbors see that post. Everyone that lives around your neighborhood and neighboring neighborhoods see your post. You know, you can reach thousands of people with a single post and it's super easy to blow up on there. So all it would do, and this was before ChatGPT, but you can get ChatGPT to, to write, you, write you headlines, ad headlines, ad headlines for car wash, car detailing. And you want to put something funny. And if you're young, you can utilize like, hey, um, Hey, I'm a, I'm, I'm however years old. The people will love that. People will eat that up. If you say you're 16 years old, 17 years old, and you're hustling, um, they're gonna want you to, they're gonna want you to wash their cars just because you're young and you're trying to make money. People love that. So use that to your advantage. Um, don't. I hate when people say, Hey, I, I'm, I'm not 16. I can't get it. I can't make money yet. Like that's just not true. That just you can do this. When you're 12 years old. It doesn't matter. Um, so let's get it. Let's get a new layer here. Um, so you post on Nextdoor, on Nextdoor, huge app. You post every, I would post every day. 
And all you're gonna do is respond to comments. You're gonna get comments. They're gonna say PM me and then you're gonna PM them or then they might just PM you, but they're gonna comment. Just respond to all the comments. And you wanna get them to ultimately get to a direct message, whether it be within the app or on the phone. So you wanna get them to a DM or PM, whatever, you know, private message, direct message, whatever. And then you just wanna book, you just wanna book washes. And I think your goal should be to do one a day. And, and trust me, it is so, so easy to, to, to land these car washes. And if you're not landing them, maybe lower your price or make better posts or be a better communicator. Um, it, these should be very easy to close. I've, I've done this for years and I've had clients of mine, um, young people do this as well and it works every single time. There's, there's no reason why this doesn't work. So the goal here should be five washes a week. And I would only do one or two a day. You will get tired. Um, it is manual labor. Um, so five washes a week, right? Um, that'll be above. That'll be above five hundred dollars a week. Boom! You're making five hundred dollars a week. You can spend just a little bit of that, honestly, on ads. Um, there's really no other expense. The dropshipping when you're starting off, um, you know, Shopify fees and then your ad spend. That that is it. Um, you don't need much. That, that, that's really all you need. That's all you need. Um, now, it's very important, and I hope you guys are watching this long. Uh, very important, when you get these washes, you're not just doing them one time, right? You need to be nice, you need to be personable, you need to build rapport with these people. Just be friendly, have a smile on your face, and with some arms, have some arms, you're gonna need some arms. <laughs> um, so have a smile on your face, and when you wash these cars, when you're done, do a good job, and ask them, hey, can I come back next week? Or would you like to do bi-weekly washes? And these customers, their LTV, this is kind of, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but um, your lifetime value, so your, your lifetime value of your customer isn't 125 anymore. It's actually double this, 3X this, 4X this, if you wash their car four times. Right, so all you're doing is you're building a list. You just want a list, a list, a list, a list of customers. Customer one, two, three, four, five. You don't need that many. Um, imagine you have ten. You have ten of these, and you're washing their car easily three, four times. You know, the only reason I stopped washing their cars is I went to college, or I moved, or I just didn't want to wash them anymore because my dropshipping business was making more money. Um, you build relationships with these people. They get a new car. They're going to call you. And then if you don't want to wash these, this is a little bit advanced, but if you don't want to wash these cars anymore, have someone else do it and, and take a percent of that. Build a business. I actually know someone in college um, who has a detailing, a car detailing business. Um, and then my other, my other student who just started this is getting to the point where he's booked out and he's making a lot of money with this and he wants to expand different cities, um, hiring more people. It's all very doable. This is like a very simple business model. And your entire goal should be all the money that you make right here. All this money that you're making should be to fuel your, all the money you make should go straight into your dropshipping business. Because this is scalable. Cars, not scalable. You can't scale it. You need more people to scale the business. It's scalable, but you need not by yourself. You need more people. Um, and then, yeah, to scale it to a thousand customers, you're gonna need a lot of people watching cars. Dropshipping, scalable. You wanna do things that are scalable. Um, not when you're starting off though, because you need to fund your business that is scalable. So wash cars first, invest all your money into something that is scalable and scale it up. And this is gonna take you time to learn and it takes skills, knowledge, experience, failures, and the entire time you're failing and not doing good, this money should just fund it. Just constantly, constantly fund it um, until, until you hit it right. You get a dub and you win and you know what you're doing. And you can repeat this over and over again. And then you have a real business that you can replicate, teach other people, and ultimately replace your car detailing business. So no one on YouTube actually talks about this shit. And I feel like 
I'm actually trying to help you guys and there's I'm, there's no flashy editing, there's no there's no flexing numbers in your face every two seconds. Any single person who's drop streaming can easily do that, right? It's so easy. Um, and I'm getting fed up with all these YouTubers, with all the, 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 the the insane amount of clickbait that which is ruining the dropshipping name and it makes it seem like it's just a get rich quick scheme and everyone thinks you're a scammer or you're doing this because you see people flexing million dollar weeks or whatever and they make it sound so easy when it's it's really not and it's, it it takes skill time and effort um so i want this youtube channel to so i want my channel to really help you guys and i'm going to try to post a video every single day I know it's gonna be difficult, but it's something I wanna do. And to do that, I need to get rid of the, the somewhat nice editing and edit everything myself in-house and make these videos just like this over and over again so you guys can learn the concepts that took me um, from college to graduating college and not working nine to five and doing e-commerce full-time and living by myself, living in a house and you know enjoying my free time. I think that's the real ultimate goal here. Um, I, I always say that I would rather make $50,000 a year working by myself and make a million dollars where I'm working every single day of my life until I'm 60 and then I retire and then I'm like old and fat and can't move. Um, that, that is not my, my dream life. So anyways, if this video helped you guys out, um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video.